Hey guys, I was just reminiscing about when I was a kid and I would get books about op amps and there was this circuit that I would see over and over again in there that was an oscillator that used a light bulb in it. At the time, I didn't understand why they would use something as old and lame as a light bulb, but you know, a couple decades have passed and now I uh, have a new appreciation for uh, nonlinear things in my oscillators and uh, amplifiers. In fact, Mr. Hewlett and Mr. Packard, um, way back when, discovered that they could put a light bulb in an oscillator and make its distortion extremely low, and that was their first product. And now, you know, Hewlett Packard's a giant company doing all kinds of things. Uh, so here's the circuit that I prototyped up. Um, it's an op amp, and it has positive feedback so through this resistor and capacitor network. I'm not going to go over all the details of how to calculate out these, but it's a pretty simple equation. You can look it up. Um, you can put variable resistors in here to change your frequency. Some cool things about it is your capacitors and your resistors are the same value. So if you uh, put a ganged um, potentiometer in here, you can make it adjustable. But the, the really uh, tricky and clever part about this circuit is the gain portion of it, which is a resistor divider, but it's it's um, fabricated out of a light bulb for one of its legs. So as current increases through the light bulb, the filament will heat up slightly. Um, in this case, it doesn't actually glow, but it'll heat up slightly, and the uh, resistance increases as the temperature goes up. So if the output starts to um, increase uh, out of control, perhaps, um, then more current will flow, and then this will decrease the gain of the amplifier you'll reach an equilibrium. Other um, things in op-amp circuits can cause um, the output to change. The supply rails can be varying up and down. Um, temperature of the op-amp or any of these components through here can also affect that, and this helps compensate for that. So this part of the circuit could also be replaced with full solid state stuff these days, but um, uh, in fact, it's um, kind of tricky to get the performance of a light bulb. So uh, it's very common for light bulb type uh, oscillators like this to be accurate down to 0.0025% distortion over their operating range. So, all right, I have it rigged up here. Let me turn it on. We'll see everything settle in. The filaments came up and warmed up and now here's our output. That's, that's the yellow. And this is the voltage for the power supply in the blue there, because I'm going to be um, molesting the power supply so we can see how well it works. And then down here I have a spectrum of uh, what frequencies are being uh, generated by this. So we have the fundamental and then we have harmonics going down. And my little helper here is going to point to the, uh, the lowest uh, harmonic sitting down there so we can kind of keep track of that. All right, so now the, the power supply is sitting at 7.2 volts. I'm going to run it up and down. So I'm going down. We can see by the blue line that's going down. That's pretty stable so far. All right, I'm getting down like a volt or so. The op amp is, op amp is just going to kind of die on us here. But uh, still pretty linear. It's not clipping. So I'll go up way, way high on the power supply. Just hear it click, 8, 9, 10 volts. Really linear. I move up and down really quick. You know, it's staying, you know, it's fluctuating a little bit. There's a little lag in these um, filaments. Okay, all right. So, awesome, right? It's, it's, uh, it's stable. So let's compare that to if I just put a resistor in place of that, that uh, light bulb. All right, so I've got some switches here. So I'm going to disconnect the light bulbs, light bulb. And then, all right, here's a resistor in its place. All right, if I bring the voltage down, we can see that it's uh, it's about the same gain as before when I was at one volt-ish. There's a lot more harmonics in it. I didn't quite get it adjusted right, but still, we can see as I go up and down, it's out of control as far as the the gain and distortion in the, uh, the output. Now, if we look at the uh, spectrum analyzer down here, we can see there's all kinds of harmonics. They're, they're clear down in here. And... Uh, it varies depending on where you're at along the, uh, the supply rail.
So, anyway, you know, consider using uh, thermistors and, or photo um, cells and maybe even a light bulb in your, uh, your next oscillator. Oh, one thing to remember about um, light bulbs, they are uh, microphonic, so you bang the table or bang the circuit board um, and wiggle those filaments, it might change your oscillator a little bit. All right, see you guys.